Hey guys, welcome back to JD's Arcade. All right, today we're gonna play a game that was based in Greek mythology. I just bought it last year, so I haven't logged a ton of time on it yet. That game's Battle of Olympus. Let's take a look. The Battle of Olympus plays a lot like Zelda II, The Adventure of Link, but it's set in ancient Greece instead of Hyrule. Players guide Orpheus on a mythological quest to rescue his beloved Helene, whose soul has been stolen by Hades. Armed with a club and the ability to acquire a sword, a staff, a crystal ball, a harp, the sandal of Hermes, and other weapons, Orpheus must battle his way through labyrinth, woods, ruins, villages, valleys, mountains, swamps, and caves. Each of the game's eight levels is home to a gift-bearing god or goddess, such as Zeus or Athena. Enemies in this challenging, lavishly illustrated game include cyclopene beasts, centaurs, minotaurs, serpents, rock giants, and other fantastical creatures. If you've been toying with the idea of getting into NES adventuring, Battle of Olympus is as good a place as any to start. The graphics are mighty fine, the quest is exciting, and there's a hell of a lot of game here for your money. Nintendo's quality. They made the best games around those times and I wanted to make a game of similar quality too. I didn't know if I'd be able to catch up with them, but I put my whole effort into the game. So did my wife. Her challenge was to make the most beautiful game graphics possible and there's been a lot of praise for her work. All on such a small cartridge, only 16 colors, a very limited environment, 